right, so I've had quite a few people ask me about my cafe racer, so I thought I'd do a quick walk around. This is my 1974 Honda CB360. Pretty much ripped everything out of it to give it that cafe look. So I'm gonna do a quick walk around and then I'll point out a couple of the parts that I uh, think give it the unique style it has. painted Nardo gray to match my CBR 600. It's my modern take on a classic bike. So all the wheels and everything were painted with duplicolor black and low gloss. It's actually engine paint, but really gives it a nice finish that isn't super glossy. So I like that. Literally just primed them, taped them all off, sprayed them. Did that with the same with the rear and all the brake drums and everything. The frame is in a gloss black. The exhaust is a Mac two in one system and it is wrapped. I took the stock muffler off from that system and replaced it with a shorty 12 inch cone from Cone Engineering. And found a guy on eBay who had some baffles from like an old Kawasaki with a two and a half inch diameter and had that welded inside to create a little bit of uh, back pressure since it's such a small engine, especially because I'm using pod filters. Shorter springs in the back to really uh, pull it down quite a bit. We got some sport tires on here. 120, 80, 18 on the back. What else we got going on? Headlight is, uh, I actually got it on Amazon. Headlight's cool. I was trying to find a way to get blinkers on the front of the bike without adding additional ones. So these actually blink on both sides and it has a high and low beam. You can actually check that out. Let's hit those blinkers. And speaking of blinkers, on the back we got the Kyriakin Autos. Super small, but super bright. I've done a video on these. You can check it out on my channel. Same thing here. We can uh, kind of gives you blinkers and you get brake lights all with one little package. On the top here we have our neutral light and this is our starter. Um, the gauges, I put a new panel in, new cover, little decal. And there's also a blue and white LED that shines at nighttime. Little side mirror here. Painted all this with that same paint. Once again, the color is Nardo Gray. This one does have a slight green tint compared to my CBR, which is a little bluer. The rear sets, purchased online, welded some little plates together and screwed them to the frame. You can actually check out the setup here. All the cases, engine cases were just painted. This is a one piece welded panel here with the seat attached, just attaches with screws on the bottom and the battery sits in the back here. Because I did lower the springs about an inch, I put a steering stabilizer on, attached to the front sport fork. And it just kind of stiffens up the front end so it's not so wobbly. Uh, pulled this piece out of a full fender that covers the whole tire and ripped out the bracket to get some support between the forks. We got a stainless line. And that's, that's pretty much the bike here. Look at 
didn't start this start this up. It's cold. So let's see how it wants to start today. That's it. That's the 1974 Honda CB360.